what's up guys welcome back to my channel and today is another special day i always say special days but this time it's another special day because i'll be working with my first hair company before we get into this video be sure to like comment and subscribe so you can see more of me <laughs> thank you now let's get into it all of the things that you said won't let it go to my head all of the things that you said won't let it go to my head all of the things that you said uh, won't let it go to my head uh, all i care about is that bread uh, all i care about is that so the wig came in this packaging really cute um it featured uh, stickers, wig cap, and a postcard, and also lashes that you'll see in the next clip. The wig here was very soft, um, no tangles, like no like instant tangles. I was just running my fingers through it, just trying to get a feel for it. Um, it's very long. Well, on me, I'm five two, so it was long on me. It hit like my hip. So this is me plucking it. Um, I didn't do it too detailed. If you guys want a video on that, I can do that for y'all. But I plucked it and then I ran through it with this uh, Remington on the lowest setting. Ran through it with that. Next, you'll see me putting foundation in the part Fit Me Maybelline foundation. Um, I'm the shade Coconut. So I ran that through the part and the edges. now this next part was probably the hardest part i wanted layers um in the wig i don't know when i seen the color and everything i was like "Ooh, i should try layers but it was hard for me y'all i didn't have shears or whatever they're called i only had scissors um i thought it would be smarter for me to do it on my head but it probably would would have been smarter for me to do it on the um actual wig stand but yeah, you'll see me struggling. I had to get my best friend to um, do the other side. But um, it turned out cute, but just keep watching. <laughs> when cutting the layers, you just want to go in like a slanted downward direction. Downward, downward, <laughs> downward direction. So you can get like that. I don't know the effect, that, that hilltop effect. <laughs> I guess that's how you explain it. In the end, I also went around and cut like um, just cut it evenly because I thought it would look more like neater and more cute. I didn't like um, the edges being like straight. I keep saying edges, ends being straggly. <laughs> so next, I just laid the wig with got to be spray. I didn't intend on keeping this wig on for a long time, so I didn't do like the full out, you know, all that extra stuff. But did y'all see that scalp in that last pic? So this was the end result, and now I'm about to come back to y'all beat, okay? <laughs> um, I didn't get too many tangles. I also used the flat iron on it, and it wasn't like, it didn't melt or anything like that. So it's not like a cheap synthetic wig. The uh, flat iron set on like the, the lowest setting though, just in case, because I ain't want that doing the burn and I'll be salty. So the other thing that I did also was cut, it came with like two, a lot of these wigs be coming with like, I don't know even know what to call it. I guess like a net, like a two net, like a fake part or whatever, fake scalp. I don't know. But in the video, I'll insert a clip of me um, showing you what I'm talking about. And I had cut it off because it didn't look natural. It wasn't going to look natural. When I put the foundation on it, it wasn't going to show through. So I had to, um, I just used regular scissors, nothing crazy. And I just cut off that lace. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. You gotta subscribe or you don't be able to see no videos of me. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for watching and see you next video.